Landing on the moon is any country's dream, and India has accomplished that with an astounding milestone by finally landing the Chandrayaan-3 mission on the moon successfully in one of the untapped locations where ice and water can be found there. But nothing comes without challenges, and Chandrayaan-3's probes are facing a huge one right now. They have to survive the longest and coldest night of their lives. And the problem is that they don't have heaters to keep them warm. Well, that sounds like a challenge. And that is what we are going to talk about in this video. We will tell you everything you need to know about Chandrayaan-3's survival challenge during the lunar night, and why it is important and challenging. We will also tell you what the chances are of Chandrayaan-3's revival, and what it means for the future of lunar exploration. The Moon is a very different world from Earth. Unlike Earth, which rotates on its axis once every 24 hours, the Moon takes about 27 days to complete one rotation. This means that one day on the Moon is equal to about 14 Earth days, and so is one night. During the lunar day, the Sun shines brightly on the surface, heating it up to about 260 degrees Fahrenheit, or 127 degrees Celsius. During the lunar night, however, the Sun disappears completely, and the surface cools rapidly to as low as minus 424 degrees Fahrenheit, or minus 253 degrees Celsius. That is a temperature difference of more than 680 degrees Fahrenheit, 380 degrees Celsius, or 380 K. But not all regions of the Moon experience the same temperature variation. The equatorial regions, which are closer to the Sun, have more moderate temperatures than the polar regions, which are farther away from the Sun. The polar regions also have areas that are permanently shadowed by mountains or craters and never receive any sunlight at all. These areas are called cold traps, and they are some of the coldest places in the solar system, with temperatures as low as minus 396 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 238 degrees Celsius. But the South Pole of the Moon is especially interesting because it has more cold traps than the North Pole, and also more areas that receive sunlight for longer periods of time. These areas are called peaks of eternal light, and they are potential sites for future lunar bases or power stations. South Pole also has potential reservoirs of frozen water ice, which could be used for drinking, farming, or making rocket fuel. And this is where Chandrayaan-3's probes landed on August 23, 2023, to be India's third lunar mission and the first to land near the lunar South Pole. As we dove deeper in previous videos, the mission consists of two probes, Vikram, which is a lander that carries four scientific instruments, and Pragyan, which is a rover that carries two instruments. Together, they aim to study the topography, mineralogy, surface chemistry, and thermal properties of the lunar South Pole region. But before they could do that, they had to face the harsh reality of the lunar night. But you might wonder how spacecraft can survive such extreme temperatures on the Moon. Well, one way is to use heaters that keep their hardware at sustainable operating temperatures. Heaters work by converting heat from radioactive decay into electrical power. This power can then be used to run other systems or charge batteries. Many previous moon missions have used heaters, also known as radioisotope heater units. For example, Lunokhod 1 was a Soviet rover that landed on the moon in 1970. It had two radioisotope heaters that kept its internal temperature at about 41 degrees Fahrenheit, or 5 degrees Celsius. It survived for 11 lunar days and nights before losing contact with Earth. Another example is Chang'e 3, a Chinese lander and rover that landed on the moon in 2013. It had four radioisotope heater units that kept its internal temperature at about 14 degrees Fahrenheit, or minus 10 degrees Celsius. It survived for more than six years on the moon, and its rover, U-22, is still active today. But Chandrayaan-3's probes do not have any heaters on board. Why is that? Well, there are several possible reasons for this design choice by the Indian Space Agency. One reason could be that heaters are expensive and heavy, and adding them would increase the cost and complexity of the mission. Another reason could be that heaters are risky and unreliable, and using them could pose safety hazards or technical failures. A third reason could be that heaters are unnecessary and wasteful, and avoiding them would save power and extend the lifespan of the mission. Whatever the reason may be, Chandrayaan-3's probes had to prepare for the lunar night without any heaters.
They did so by fully charging their batteries before sunset, turning off their scientific instruments to conserve power, and orienting their solar panels to receive light at the next sunrise. They also sent their last data and images to Earth and entered a sleep mode that would last for about 14 Earth days. So, what are the chances of Chandrayaan 3's probes waking up after the lunar night? Well, that depends on several factors that are beyond human control. Some of these factors are, first, their inherent durability. How well can they withstand the thermal stress and mechanical shock of the temperature change? How well can they protect their sensitive components from the cold and radiation? How well can they seal their openings from the dust and the vacuum? Second, their location on the surface. How close are they to the cold traps or the peaks of eternal light? How much sunlight will they receive at the next sunrise? How much shadow will they cast on each other? Third, their communication with the Indian Space Agency. How strong are their signal strengths and antenna orientations? How clear are their frequencies and bandwidths? How compatible are their protocols and formats? These factors will determine whether Chandrayaan 3's probes will revive partially or fully, lose mobility or functionality, or fail completely. There is no way to predict the outcome with certainty, but there are some examples of previous moon missions that can give us some clues. For instance, Chang'e 4 was a Chinese lander and rover that landed on the far side of the moon in 2019. And just like Chandrayaan 3, it also did not have any heaters on board, but it survived the lunar night by using its batteries and solar panels. It revived successfully after each lunar night, and it is still operating today. However, it also faced some challenges, such as reduced battery capacity, degraded solar panel efficiency, and delayed communication with the Earth. Another example is Bereshit, which was an Israeli lander that attempted to land on the moon in 2019. It also did not have any heaters on board, but it crashed on the surface due to a technical glitch. It was later found by NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, which captured an image of its impact site. Surprisingly, it was still transmitting a weak signal to Earth, indicating that it was not completely destroyed. However, it did not survive the lunar night, and it stopped communicating with Earth. So, what will happen to Chandrayaan 3's probes? Will they reawaken on September 22, 2023, when the next lunar day starts? Will they resume their scientific experiments in a region of the moon that has potential water resources? Will they demonstrate a hop test that could pave the way for future sample returns or human missions? Or will they remain silent and frozen on the lunar south pole forever? We have told you everything you need to know about Chandrayaan 3's survival challenge during the lunar night and why it is important and challenging. We have also told you what the chances are of Chandrayaan 3's revival and what it means for the future of lunar exploration. Chandrayaan 3's probes face the daunting challenge of surviving the lunar night without heaters, and their fate depends on various factors that are beyond human control. But they have already accomplished their science goals in a region of the moon that has potential water resources. They have also demonstrated India's technological prowess and ambition in space exploration. We hope that Chandrayaan 3's probes will reawaken on September 22, 2023, and continue their mission for as long as possible. We will keep you updated on their status and progress. Thank you for watching this video, and stay tuned for more space news and stories.